what's going on everyone moose here air guns of michigan and today i am going to do the conclusion of the caliber gun cricket 2 bullpup and uh let me just say this has probably been one of the more enjoyable um air guns that i um actually had the opportunity to uh, not only own but to shoot and um you know, I, uh, I I did the review on the Caliber Gun Cricket II uh, Tactical. Uh, that was not my gun. That belonged to High Pressure Pneumatics, and uh, I just got to review it. And then when I was able to uh, purchase this one, um, you know, I was a little... I was kind of torn between whether I really wanted the bullpup or if... Um, I wanted the tactical, but I have to say that this has been an absolute dream to shoot and to um, be able to um, just do um, a pretty good amount of testing. Um, I never adjusted the regulator. I didn't have to. Um, I did play with the hammer spring a little bit just to see some variations, and um, and it gave a decent amount of um you know um, speed um and, and as far as its uh, adjustability from you know less hammer spring to more hammer spring um but honestly the gun just shot so well that i just never felt that i needed to play with the regulator um, i shoot jsb hades out of this i figured this will make a great squirrel gun uh, for the future um along with um, some of my other squirrel guns so if you know if I have multiple people that aren't into air guns or just learning to get into air guns uh, this is a great gun to to work with them with um, you know one thing that uh, I touched on um, in my um, previous video was um, the pushing this bolt forward this is the bolt that we referred to this is this is what makes this go from um, magazine to um, you can actually um, push the um, the bolt catch I guess you could say or the magazine catch uh, down which will make this a single shot um, or you can push it forward which makes it rotate the magazine so you guys probably saw that in mine where I thought that there was something wrong with my uh, magazine advancement it was not it was me not utilizing uh, the two different positions on the magazine catch one being down for single shot one being forward for you know, multiple shots um, love the fact that this thing has uh, four um, magazine um, holders in it um, makes it nice to have four in here and and actually one in the gun um, you know you can take quite a few shots out with you uh, into the woods or even for a plinking session or whatever you want to do um, the cocking mechanism um, while it was um, stiffer in the beginning uh, certainly worked its um, way into a more fluid and uh, smoother cocking action uh, i just think that it just needed some time to be worked with um, but overall the construction of this gun is amazing um, it's quiet uh, with just the baffle system that it comes with or the the moderation system that it comes with um, i'm getting roughly 60 to 70 shots per fill um, depending on where my hammer is adjusted at um, I think right now I'm probably closer to the 60 55 60 um, but I got as many as like 72 73 something like that I can't remember the exact numbers I do apologize but nonetheless you're gonna get right around 60 shots per fill um, I did keep the monstrum scope on here um, I, I just 
after kind of playing around with it and doing my groupings and everything, um, the Monstrum did just fine. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't mind maybe putting an Element um, Helix on it. Um, I just don't have an extra one at the time. So maybe that maybe in the future. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and stick with the Monstrum. Uh, the texturing on this gun is absolutely amazing. It, I know that it claims that it's a plastic. I mean, it, it certainly doesn't feel that way. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like... Uh, like what you would think a plastic would feel like. I mean, it, it's almost like it's like some kind of poly with like a textured um, um, kind of spray over the top of it. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. Uh, but it is a an excellent, excellent gun. Um, the gun itself... Um, has a lot of weight to it it's not a very light gun that's for certain um you know but it feels really really solid in your hands uh, the butt stock is you know relatively small um you know it's but honestly the positioning of it even for a big guy like me where um you know my shoulders are thick so a lot of times um, I have a real hard time indexing um, my shoulder mount to my cheek weld uh, to you know being able to see down the the optic itself um, but uh, these UTG medium height uh, mounts with the Monstrum uh, just lined up great um, I still wish there was something other than um, a fill probe like I, I just I'm not a big fan of these probes I know a lot of people out there aren't either um, but honestly I guess if that was the one drawback to this gun that's what I would say it is is just having that fill probe um, but um, other than that like I said the construction on this thing is just absolutely um, phenomenal it is a 300 bar fill gun um, 22 caliber, um, obviously made in the Czech Republic, uh, but, uh, overall with a single point sling, this gun is very easily or easily, um, transported around the woods. Certainly small enough for a truck gun. Uh, if any of you guys are just, you know, those people that like to, uh, roll around with, uh, you know, your air gun and your truck. Uh, perfect size for that uh, and the other thing that I wanted to mention too is the the texture on this like I said isn't it's not like a marring kind of plasticky you know what I mean like you could easily set this on the uh, window of your truck or on the hood or you know wherever and it's not going to mark it up from this this um, this uh, material anyway um, I do enjoy how compact this is I do also enjoy the fact that I really don't need to add a moderator um, you know I know moderators are a huge thing out there right now and of course you know we've got a lot of different companies out there that are making some really excellent uh, moderators down EFL, 0db uh, hug it you know stuff like that um, but uh, honestly you just don't need one for this gun um, you know it's it's got a very subtle if, if anything you kind of hear a pinging noise from the hammer being um, striking the valve so it's really kind of nice to uh, um, you know not have to spend extra money um, on a um, on a moderator um, the uh, the gun itself is held up extremely well um, I've put roughly oh, at least a thousand rounds through this thing now um and it just does a great great job um i cleaned the barrel um in the beginning um and then um, i have not had to clean the barrel since um however um, i probably will continue this to see just how many shots I get to take out of it before I notice my groups coming apart. Now I will say this as well. I did shoot this gun at a hundred yards and it was, you know, I'm shooting the JSB Hades. So anytime that you're shooting a hundred yards in any kind of wind, um, it really, you know, 
changes the dynamic of the flight of that lightweight 22 caliber pellet. Um, so, you know, my groups weren't as great as what I would like them to have been. Now, could I put a slug in this? We'll see. I haven't shot any slugs through it. Could I put a heavier pellet in it? Like, let's say, uh, you know, 25.39 and, uh, see what happens with those. Yeah. <clears throat> and those might fly better, <coughs> excuse me, at, um, at a hundred yards. But I have found great groupings, um, up to a about 60 65 yards um 75 started drifting a little bit more um but i would say for a for shooting the lightweight jsb hades uh this gun is deadly accurate up to 60 70 yards um you know, 70 yeah well let me say 60 yards 70 you're mm, if no wind probably uh not a problem um but um I think maybe, like I said, if we ran some slugs through it or something with a little more weight, you know, like the uh, JSB 2539s, uh, it might do, um, you know, quite a bit better. I just never tested it for that because with my bull pups and my 22 calibers, including my FX Impact M3, um, I run Hades because they're purpose guns for me for small game or short, short yardage planking. Um, so... Is the gun capable of 100? Absolutely. Um, have I found the right ammunition for it in 100? No, because I haven't really done anything other than the Hades. Um, so maybe we'll do that. Let me know down in the comments below if you want to see what this thing does at 100 yards. We'll do some further testing. We'll try a different, you know, a couple of different weights and see what we can do. Um, the only reason that I haven't so far is because I have a feeling maybe I would have to adjust the regulator to get a little bit more speed. Um, but uh, overall, like I said, this gun is shooting great. Um, I do not have chronograph uh, numbers for you. I do apologize for that um, as far as, you know, my final tuning. Um, but we'll, maybe we'll revisit that as well. I'll shoot some chronograph numbers and uh, let you guys know what this thing's pushing the Hades at. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. But uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. If you guys are interested in getting a hold of one of these Caliber Gun Cricket 2s, you can certainly reach out to uh, uh, High Pressure Pneumatics and uh, see if they uh, can get a hold of one for you. So with that being said, I'm Moose. This is the Caliber Gun Cricket 2 Bullpup made in the Czech Republic. 22 caliber shooting JSB Hades and dare I say, lights out. So till next time. Be good to each other, and God bless.